guys. Thanks so much for tuning back into my channel. Until then. So I have been doing a lot of thinking over the last couple of months of a series that I would want to start for my channel. And so it finally came to me. It took me a little bit of time. But the series that I'm starting for this month is called Wisdom Wednesdays. And so what I'm using this particular day or this series for is really just sharing different things that I have learned in my life. Um, and I think we've all experienced those different things where we have a moment where we've learned something and we're kind of like, oh my gosh, I wish I had have learned that a little bit sooner. Um, where we just have those aha moments that from that point onward, we're better off for it. And so that's what I wanted to share with you guys as far as what this series is going to be all about. So let's get started. So what I wanted to share with you guys today um, that I'm kind of learning, I've actually been kind of learning this these last couple of months, is the ability to say yes. Now normally it's all about saying no, um, and that's important too, but I've learned to say yes in regards to just different things that I do each day. Um, for me, being raised, I mean, how I was raised, I was raised very independent to be very much a self thinker. And so what I've learned over the course of being independent, not that that's a negative thing, I think that's a really important thing, is that sometimes you wanting to be so independent can really work against you, because you feel like you have to do everything all by yourself. And what I'm finding is that I'm having the ability now lately to just say yes to certain things. So normally, if somebody's asking me, hey, Brittany, do you need me to do anything? Or do you need me to move this here, move this there? Normally, I'm like, no, I got it. Like, I, I'm all, I'm, go, I'm good for it. I can totally take care of that. And I do. But then I'm like finding out later on that I'm like beyond stressed out and I can't take it. Um, and then I'm just like beyond overwhelmed by trying to do everything because I feel like I'm so independent or that I've got it. And sometimes it's not even a matter of being independent. It's a matter of just kind of feeling like you have to do it because it's all up to you. And so one of the different things I've been thinking on is really going back to God's word um, and just really meditating on the different things that he's telling me. So I've had two different scriptures that I've thought about over the course of these last couple of months that have really helped me to say yes when someone's asking if I needed their help. So one of those things is, it's in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13. And it says, No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you're tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. So obviously... I guess you could say if you're trying to take the word for face value or taking it literal, you're hearing the words temptation, things like that. And obviously, if someone's saying, you know, do you need help with something? That's not necessarily a temptation, but it's still that whole concept of you, at least for me, as far as what I'm talking about, it's still that whole concept of there's something that has to be taken care of. And you feel the need to do it all on your own, to be very independent about it, to feel that you are the only person that can take care of it. And I feel like with this verse, God is presenting this opportunity for me to ease that stress, to lessen that. Because let's face it, when you're dealing with different things, whether it's paying a bill, whether it's running errands, picking up your kids to and from school, those are those can be burdens. And you're up under that. And so rather than taking them taking on that entire burden by yourself, why not accept the help that someone's being, um, when someone's asking you, can I help you with something? Why not delegate that to someone else? So another verse that I had been thinking on, um, it was still in 1 Corinthians, and it's talking about basically the body of Christ and the different parts that each part does, that each part of the body has an important function. And so it's in 1 Corinthians 12, and I'm reading from the message, and I'm gonna start in verse 25. It says, the way God designed our bodies is a model for understanding our lives together as a church. Every part depended on every other part. The parts we mention and the parts we don't, the parts we see and the parts we don't. If one part hurts, every other part is involved in the hurt and in the healing. If one part flourishes, every other part enters into the exuberance. You are Christ's body, that's who you are. You must never forget this. Only as you accept your part of the body that does your part, 
mean anything. You're familiar with some of the parts that God has formed in this church, which is his body. And then it goes on to talk about different parts of the church and, or different roles in the church. And so I really equated that um, to just what I do every single day. Um, I do a lot of running errands and I do a lot of grocery shopping. I do a lot of cooking. I do a lot of cleaning um, just here at home. And those are just everyday things. But I've been having moments now where my mom, my mom is like, Brittany, do you want me to chop this up? Or do you want me to run this here or take this there? And now I'm getting to a point where rather than me being stressed out about it, rather than me um, worry about can I get this all done today, I keep forgetting that, yeah, I'm my own individual person, I'm independent, but in order for me to get everything done, in order for even my home to function, I have to depend on the other parts of the body within my home. And so really thinking on these two pieces of scripture has helped me to have the ability to say yes. And I wanna be able to just encourage you guys to do that. Don't take on the stressors of every day by yourself. Take the time to truly say yes to someone. If someone's asking if you need help with something, say yes. Take that time to delegate. That's why we have these roles. If you're the head of your household, delegate different tasks to different people and don't feel guilty about it. That's what they're there for. Even at work, if there's a project that you're working on, delegate those tasks so that not only you get done sooner, but you're using your time effectively and you're not under that burden and under that stress of whatever that task is. So I hope that you guys found that helpful. I hope that you found some wisdom on today. Um, and I hope to um, just continue the series and that you guys are able to find something that you can take home with you that's just a little piece of wisdom that you can use in your life throughout the week. If you like this video, please give it a like. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And of course, share this video. If you found that this was helpful for you, share this video with others. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then.